God. Yeah. Amen. To cast our cares and to Hallelujah. let it all go. Hallelujah. How God Hallelujah. just keep blessing us. And there come, that comes a time you got to put your, your dignity and all that stuff. And no, we, it's a place for that. But in the yeah. house of God, when it's time to praise God, we got to go all in. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Thank God for each of you who have pressed your way yes. in spite yeah. of the pandemic. Amen. Yeah. We still going to praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Sister said, now we know back when this thing started several yeah. months ago and God has kept us. Yeah. He's done that on purpose. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. And we owe him the highest praise. Yeah. Amen. We see folks falling all around us with this uh, COVID-19. And yeah. we see it and hear the reports of people not making it. But we're still standing. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're covered in the blood. Yeah. Amen. Truly, I thank God for each of us. Good to see the uh, young men. Come on, put your hands together. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you. We're going to go ahead and get right into our canopy of God's protection, Psalm 91. Amen. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the hair. The young lion and the dragon shall not trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Truly, we thank God for the canopy of God's protection. Amen. Amen. Do you have your word this morning? Do you have your Bibles, yes. iPhones, and tablets? <laughs> Amen. And all the other devices. We're going to come from Psalm 57 this morning. Psalm 57. Amen. We're going to read in your hearing verses 2 and 3. Amen. Psalm 57. We honor uh, Pastor Pat in her absence. We are praying uh, for her that God will uh, completely heal. Uh, and we see the manifestation. She's already healed. We just Amen. wait on the manifestation. Amen. Amen. And I thank you for your prayers and your support. Amen. Amen. Are you there in Psalm 57, verses 2 and 3? In the King James, it says, I will cry unto God most high. I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Selah. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. Father, we thank you for your word. Father, we stand on your word by faith. God, I pray that we'll prepare listeners, have prepared hearts yes, to receive your word today that will change our very life in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. amen and amen. amen. You may have your seats in the presence 
of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. In the Amplified Version of Psalm 57, verse uh, 2 says, I will cry to God most high, uh -huh. who accomplishes all, all things on my behalf. It says, for he completes my purpose in his plan. Amen. Amen. For he completes my purpose in his plan plan. Amen. I want you to make this declaration with me. And say with me, I can do what God says I can do. I can do what God says I can do. I can be who God says I can be. I can be who God says I can be. And I can have what God says I can have. I can have what God says I can have. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to believe it with all of your heart, yes. all of your might, and all of your strength. It's in the Word of God where He tells us who we can be and what we can do and what we can have. Amen. And so I like this part of our scripture today from Psalm 57 says, The Lord completes my purpose yes. in His plan. Yeah. You got to catch that. That's the gist of today's message. The Lord completes your purpose in his plan. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want to share with you this one of that uh, on this topic. Living on purpose. Amen. My God. Living on purpose. Amen. Yes. Too many all across the world from every race. Uh, we, we, we find ourselves... Uh, spending and wasting time trying to find our purpose. Yes. Amen. And so I came to tell you, I came to tell you that our purpose is uh, wrapped up and, and created in us already. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we're going to work with that uh, as we go on through our lesson. Amen. Life isn't worth living when you don't have purpose. Yes. Yes, it's hard to get out of bed. It's hard to get your day going when there is no purpose. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. I know somebody know what I'm talking about. And we've been searching for purpose in all the wrong places. We look for places, we look for purpose in people. We look for purpose in things. And God is telling us that's not where purpose comes from. Amen. And if anybody, if you are a child of God, you got to know where your purpose comes from. Amen. Amen. If, if you're looking for people to validate you, you're going to be upset and disappointed. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for people to justify you, your life and tell you who you are, you are ready to miss the mark. Right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Talking about living with purpose. Amen. Look, as I came across this writing that says, Men all over the world, men and women, have wasted valuable time in their lives. Listen to this. Climbing a ladder uh, only to get to the top and realize it was leaning on the wrong wall. Mm. <laughs> Trying to find their purpose. Y'all know what I'm saying. We spent a lifetime uh, in the secular. Uh, I got to pursue this. I'm, uh, and then you get to the top of the corporate thing and find out it's not what it all really is about paying out to be. Right. You put all of your money, all of your energy mm -hmm. trying to get to this plateau only to find it's not bringing you total satisf uh, satisfaction. Mm -hmm. So here you are, you frustrated, you disillusioned, and you're hard to get along with, and people can't figure out what's wrong with you. You got a house, you got cars, you got money. Yeah. You can have all of that and still don't know your purpose in life. Yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you that uh, having a house isn't your purpose? Yes, Amen. Having a, a college education isn't your purpose. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's part of the plan, but it's not who you are. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. I know it's this quiet tonight, but today, but we're going to work it. I, I like how King David discovered that his purpose in our lesson, he discovered that his purpose was somehow connected to God. You got to catch it. Your purpose and my purpose is connected to God. Hallelujah. Uh, it says, unto God that performed.
performeth all things for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. I came here to tell you this morning that God has a purpose. He has a plan for your life. Not Amen. only that, but he, because he has given you purpose, he says, I am going, it's my responsibility Amen. to pro fulfill the promise and the purpose in your life. I'm going to do it. Yes. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. So no need to worry. Go through the rest of your life worrying, why am I here? Uh, we're going to work with that because people are asking that question every day. Why am I existing? Why, why do I wake up? God, why do you allow me to? Because I don't know my purpose. And when you don't know who you are, you will never know your purpose. Hallelujah. When you don't know who you are in Philippians. Chapter 1, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. When God is saying, today I just need to, especially this lesson, Pastor John, why is this lesson so prevalent today about living on purpose? Because people are trying to dictate your, you and uh, my purpose based on my color. Right. Mm -hmm. Talk about Come it. On. And if you don't know me, I can guarantee you, you don't know my purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, it's going to get quiet. I know, I know. I'm not, we're not ready for TV yet, probably. But. <laughs> Amen. If you're trying to define who I am based on my color, you will never know the essence of what God has already placed in me. We need to tell the, tell the world that. If you don't know me, you definitely don't know my purpose. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if, 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 if there is no relationship with God, you don't even know your own purpose. Yes. Hallelujah. And it has to be connected with God. Are you in Philippians 1 and 6? Yes. It says, being confident of this very thing. You hear that? Yes. That he which had begun a good work in you will perform it. It until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. So here the writer is saying, whatever God is working in me, it is going to be his responsibility uh -huh. to complete it. Yes. Yes. Amen. How many of you know God is working something out in your life? Yes. Uh, uh, Y'all ain't get it. I got to preach myself happy to tell your neighbor. I know we are just this far. But tell your neighbor, take a good look at me now. Yeah, look at me now because God is working yeah. in my life. He's rearranging some things. He's shifting some things. Uh -huh. Yes, he's tearing away some things. He's setting up some things in my life. Amen. In other words, God is perfecting me. Uh, and why he's perfecting me, I'm so glad I don't look like what I'm going through. Amen. Oh, come on, y'all ain't happy yet. I got to keep working until somebody gets happy in here. I'm so glad I don't look like what I'm going through. Yes. Hallelujah. God is perfecting me. Yes. And when we read in Psalm 138 and 8, yes, when we, we know that God is rearranging some things, you know, some people, they see you, it seems like they know you in transition and they can't figure you out. Uh -huh. You're not doing some of the same things. You're not hanging out at some of the same places and uh -huh. they're afraid to ask you what's going on because they know it's your personal business. Yeah. But there's nothing to be ashamed of. Uh -huh. When God is working in your life, when he's personally rearranging Amen. and shifting some things, you just tell him, don't worry, I'm all right. Amen. God is just working in me. Amen. I'm going to be all right. Amen. Just keep praying for me. Yeah. You don't have to know my personal business, That's but right. just say, I'm still holding on. Right. And I'm still trusting God. Yeah, yeah. yeah because he's working his purpose out. Yeah. Yeah, Amen. somebody needs to know God. Is, God is the one that gave purpose to you. Yes. He's the one that's going to work it out. Mm -hmm. Philippians Amen. 1 and 6, being confident of this very thing, mm -hmm. that he which begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Then we go on down to Psalm 138 and 8. Listen at this. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Uh -huh. Listen, the Lord will perfect that, uh -huh. which concerns me. Everything about you, God already knows. Yeah. Uh, that issue that you're going through right now, 
He already knows. Yes. That problem that you're facing, God already knows. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, he's not. Listen, this thing is personal. When you read this scripture right here, Psalm 138 and 8, it says, he will perfect that which concerns me. Amen. Right now, you got to take this thing personal. Yes. He's not talking yes. about your family right now. He's not talking about the associates and people are, and you're connected to. He's talking about you personal. He yes. says, I will perfect that thing in your life. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, Lord. When you read it from the Message Bible, it says, finish what you started. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Your love is eternal. Listen, I like this part right here. Don't quit on me now. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, I'm a work in progress in what God is working out. I don't fully understand it, and sometimes I'm, I'm confused about it, but uh, that's where I got to put my trust and confidence in God's ability. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Tell somebody, God got me. Uh, yeah. oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. God never starts what he hasn't finished. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. God never starts what he hasn't finished. Amen. Uh -huh. and, and you know, everything about your life, God already knows. He knows your success. He knows your struggles. Uh -huh. He knows your marriage issues. He knows your education problems. He knows your career. He knows about your uh -huh. health. And he knows the choices that you will always yes. make. But he's not going to uh, quit on you. Amen. He's not going to give up. Yes. His purpose shall be fulfilled in your life. Yes. Amen. 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 Tell somebody I'm not a mistake. I'm not a mistake. I don't care what auntie, I don't care what grandmama said, daddy and mama, I'm yes. not a mistake. Amen. I'm here on purpose. Amen. Yes. And I'm living on purpose. Amen. Amen. Because I know, uh, I know, see, the devil should have took me out before I opened the word of God. Because now hey. I know God has a purpose yes. and a plan and a for plan. my life. Hallelujah. Amen. So sick of tired of folks all around us trying to tell us who we are. Yes. Yes. And, and that they try to make us to be who they think we should be. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, and that's why we're in a dilemma in our country right now. Uh -huh. Because we got a group of people trying to dictate our purpose. Yes. Yes. And they are not our creator. Talk about it. Yeah, they're trying to dictate. Yeah, we we went, listen, this is this, I got the, I need help. All right. <laughs> Elk can do it. Hey. Come on. We have a group of people that went up out of their land, uh -huh. went across the water. Right. Picked up some people of another color, yeah. <laughs> brought us to their land, and tried to dictate our purpose. Yeah. Yeah. That ain't right. <laughs> what they failed to do, they were living for the moment. Yeah. And that's why they took the books out of away from us. Right. Okay. They didn't want us to get educated. Uh -huh. They took uh, liberties away because they didn't want us, us to experience freedom. Yes. Uh -huh. But they did look 200, 300 years down the road and oh, said, what are we want to, going to do when these people start learning and getting education and making more money than we are? When they start standing up and saying, I want my freedom. Yes. And I'm going to be treated equal like everybody else. God has created us equally. Yes. Got no monkey in you. Oh. Yes. Right. Yes. Help us. Because I'm stronger than you, don't I'm stronger than you physically don't make me because I'm, I'm I'm a different color and I'm stronger than you don't make me I'm, I'm an animal. Amen. Because they don't know your purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. And we instead of fighting the physical fight, we got to stand and look them in the face. You don't know my purpose. Yes. So you can't dictate what I'm going to do and what I'm not. That comes from God, my creator. Amen. Y'all send that message to President Trump from your pastor. Hello, <laughs> God. <laughs> Trump, he don't know my purpose. Sir, and the reason true. I know you don't know my purpose is because your, your knee on my neck was not my purpose. I was not designed for your knee to be on my neck. 
Come on, somebody. Every time I try to do right, I get shot in the back. Right. Every time I just go outside just to go down the store to get some Skittles, here you come. Here you come. Help. Because you don't know my purpose. Mm. And you're trying to solve a heart problem with a gun problem. Yeah. Yeah. It might be tight, but it's right. Yeah. You'll never find out my purpose with a gun. Amen. We can sit down at the table and come together and reason. And then I'll tell you, because I'm connected to God, yes. and it's going to be God that's going to reveal my purpose. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, I'm not going to be out there with you shooting it. And I Because when you read the news, when you see the news, it does something to your flesh. Yes. How can you treat God's creation like you do? Because, first of all, the, how can you do it? Be, uh, you know why they do it? Because they don't have no relationship with God. Right. Yeah. 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 And when you don't have a relationship with God, just as David said, you will never know know what you were created to do. Amen. And you'll afflict your pain, you'll yes. afflict your opinion on somebody else who's totally different from you. That's good. you got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yes. And it's only through God that we, we can have reforms, we can have meetings, town hall meetings, mm -hmm. we can have votes, but until our heart changes. Yes. We just, we just walk in time. Yes, yes. Until somebody re, uh, comes to the realization, my purpose doesn't have nothing to do with what you're trying to make me do. Yes. Right. I'm finding out that my purpose is connected to God. God. That's Amen. right. Think about this for a moment. Young guys, y'all got us a nice bright red Ford Mustang. Yeah. Oh, boy, it makes all kinds of noise. You're going down the street. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You got that uh, stick shift. Y'all know. Y'all don't know yeah. how to change gears. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. We got, got a stick shift. <laughs> Your Ford Mustang breaks down. Uh-huh. And here you go. You carry your Ford Mustang to Volkswagen. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You pull up in Volkswagen uh, service shop and say, I got something going on in my Ford here. Mm. Now they'll pull it, they'll do you the courtesy of pulling in the shop and put it on a test, a diagnostic machine. Uh -huh. They might be able to tell you you got this issue or that, uh, but somebody's gonna come out and say, you know what, Mr. or uh, 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 Mrs. You would do better to carry your Ford Mustang to the Ford shop. Right. You want to know why? Because it is the Ford, the creator, the maker, and they know the purpose of how your Mustang ought to operate. Right. You got to get it. You got to get it. Amen. Volkswagen was not created to handle Ford uh, products. Uh -huh. Y'all understand that? Yeah. So we would do God an injustice to go to the world yeah. and ask the world, right. do you know my purpose? Yeah. Why is that a this doesn't God? Because the world did not create you. Your purpose was in the mind of your creator. Yeah. Uh -huh. hey. yeah, the purpose of something is always in the mind of its creator, uh -huh. of its maker. Yeah. Yeah. So if you ever make something and you get it patented and you send it out and people start saying, how does this thing work? Uh -huh. You're going to be able to be the one to explain it. Yeah. Because you are the one that made it and created it and invented it. You don't get the point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. When we turn to God, David got this revelation. Mm -hmm. My purpose is connected to my creator, God Almighty. Yeah. And so instead of crying to the world, I'm going to fall on my knees yeah. and cry out to God yeah. about my purpose. Yes. Yeah. All right. Amen. Amen. Man did not create you, therefore man cannot dictate your purpose. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you this. Never give people that kind of authority over your life to dictate who That's you right. are. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Never give people that kind of power mm -hmm. to tell they're gonna tell you who you are and what you're gonna be doing the rest of your life. Right. They weren't created for that. Right. Uh -huh. Amen. They were not created for that. Yes, our purpose 
and identity is found in Christ. Uh -huh. Did you catch that? Yes. Our purpose and identity is found in Christ. Amen. If we are to fulfill our true purpose, we need a God-given identity. Uh -huh. yes. Amen. I like how Jeremiah 1 and 5 says. Amen. Because we know Jeremiah was called at a young age. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes, most many times, when God reveals your purpose, it'll catch you unaware. Uh -huh. Amen. It'll catch you in, and God will reveal it in such a way that he like, my God, my understanding is enlightened. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 1 and 5, it says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Uh -huh. See, because God is his creator. Uh -huh. And before thou came forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Uh -huh. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Here, if Jeremiah was a youngster, I mean, in the womb, uh -huh. God is already predicting and already foretelling his purpose on earth. Yes. So that proves to us that God knew when God was uh, forming and making uh, Jeremiah in his mother's womb, purpose was already placed yes. in Jeremiah when he stepped out into the world. Amen. The same thing happens for you and I. Mm -hmm. That's why you can never say, believe the lie, the devil say, you weren't meant to be here. Amen. Because when you were in the womb, when God purposed you to be a live creature, yes. he was putting purpose in you. Amen. And when you know your identity, when you know your purpose, you know that your purpose and your identity is to bring glory to God. Uh, amen. You got to catch that. Amen. Every time God uh, gave somebody a sign and a purpose of what they should be doing here on earth, uh -huh. they have, many of them had a relationship already with God. Come on. Amen. All right. We're going to get there. All right. Amen. Miles Monroe is quoted saying, the purpose of something can only be found in the mind of its maker. That came from uh, the uh, evangelist Miles Monroe. Mm -hmm. In John 1, the first chapter, verse 3, the NIV, uh, St. John 1 and 3, mm -hmm. it says, through him all things were made. Uh -huh. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In other words, God is our creator. Amen. He's our maker. He's our everything. And God is working his, God wants to work his purpose. He wants to reveal our purpose, your purpose, through your life by him working as he reveals himself uh -huh. through relationship. Amen. Amen. Through relationship. Uh, he has made us in yes. his image, and he knows our purpose. Here's where we have an issue at. Pastor John, but I hear you, Pastor John, but you're still not telling me what my purpose is. Uh -huh. I can never tell you. Pastor can never tell you your purpose. Oh, but here's the conflict. When God has given us freedom of choice. Uh-huh. And he has a will for our life, and we have our own will. Yes. And when our will is not in line with his will, there's conflict. Yes. Do y'all see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. God will never give you purpose until your life lines up with his will. Yes. Yes. Why is that, Pastor John? Because if God would drop your, your, uh, your purpose on you right now and you're out of place, uh -huh. you won't know what to do with your right. purpose. Mm. Y'all didn't catch that. When God reveals your purpose and you're out of line, y'all know when you're driving a car and that wheel is out of line, you be bumping down the road. The wheel wants to turn one way and you're trying to go straight. That car needs alignment. Yeah. <laughs> and when your life is out of line, you're going through life Bump it. Bump it. Help us. Oh, That's crazy. <laughs> Amen. Until we line up our will with God's will, mm -hmm. then God says, now you're ready for your purpose. purpose. Yes. Now I got your attention because 
Even, listen, even when Jesus was about to go uh, uh, to the cross, uh -huh. he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. He had to fall on his knee and said, God, mm -hmm. Lord, if it's possible, yes. let this cup pass from me. Then he went on and said, nevertheless, thy will be done. In other words, he was saying, I know my purpose, but this is hard. This, this is hard. This is hard. And, and, and God will never put something on you that's outside his purpose for your life. Amen. Do you hear me? God will never put the pain and the pressure of life in your life until, if it's not in line with this purpose. Yes. But listen, God never told you this life was going to be easy. Amen. That you're just going to roll through life and no pressure, no problems, no pain. Uh -huh. You're going to experience some things. But in Jesus, Jesus has said, Father, nevertheless, not uh -huh. my will. But your will, will be done. So he had to get his will from the flesh point and get it lined up with God, his father's will. That's right. And that's how we can also do it. When we get our will lined up with our father's uh -huh. will, Amen. then we say, yes, Lord, I'm ready to do what you have called yes. me to uh -huh. do. Amen. Amen. There's some people in here that are preachers and don't know it. Mm, help mm. us. There's some people in here that are mighty men and women of God that's making a difference in society and they don't know what their purpose is yet. Mm -hmm. You want to know why? Because their will haven't lined up totally with God's will. Mm -hmm. Amen. And sometimes it gets frustrating. Uh -huh. It gets frustrating because it's like, Lord, how long? God, you know the problem is never with God. Right. <laughs> Why are you going to spend your life com uh, whining and complaining to God when God says, I've already put purpose in you. Uh -huh. I'm waiting on you to get in line so I can reveal That's your good. purpose. That's good. Pastor, what the Lord is telling you about me? To live right? Jesus. Amen. So our prayer must be, Lord, not my will, but your Amen. will for my life. Yes. Yes. Amen. Apostle Paul made it clear about himself that can help us with our identity in Christ uh -huh. in Galatians 2 and 20. I like how Apostle Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ. Mm -hmm. My God, my God. When he's talking about being crucified, that old man, he's, I, I'm no longer that person that right. I used to be. I died to the things of the world. world. Amen. And the life that I live now, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Who loved me and gave himself mm -hmm. for me. Amen. If you want to get in God's purpose, you want God's purpose revealed, let that old man die. Amen. Hallelujah. You are a new creation in Christ. Y'all know the scripture of 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. See, God in, God's, God understands. He's he giving you a gift. You got talents. You got this. You got charisma. You got strength. You got abilities. But that's no good if you don't know your purpose. Amen. Hey Amen. You just like that symbol. You making a lot of noise saying nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But our purpose is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. So here's uh, the point. Number one was, amen. God fulfilled our purpose and identity is found in Christ. Our second point, we're going to talk real quick and we're about done here. Mm -hmm. God's purpose is the key to our fulfillment. Uh-huh. God's purpose is the key to our fulfillment. Mm -hmm. We can make it personal, even more personal. God's purpose in my life, amen, is the key to my fulfillment. Amen. If I really want to live a fulfilled life, I got to follow God's purpose and plan yes. for my life. Hallelujah. We got it. The only way to know your purpose is to experience. You got to catch this. Uh -huh. The only way to know your purpose is to experience and to walk closely to the one who was who has created you and has destined you for your purpose. Uh -huh. So what are you saying, Pastor, so, uh, Pastor John? Uh -huh. The closer I get to God, the, the more I experience him in my own personal life. 
He begins, see, it's the work of the Holy Spirit. He begins to reveal what God's purpose is for your life mm -hmm. through relationship. Right. He begins to open because it's already in you and you want it to become unlocked. You want it to be revealed. Uh -huh. So how do you do it? You get close to your creator. Amen. You get intimate. Mm -hmm. Into me you see. Oh. Get intimate with God. Okay. I need to say that one more time. Yes. Yeah. Intimate with God means to get into mm -hmm. me you see. Good. When you get intimate into God, you will begin to see God. Amen. You will begin to experience more of God. Hallelujah. And your purpose will be revealed. Amen. Amen. It is the Holy Spirit's job uh, 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 to guide you and direct you and, and to lead you to your purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. He will lead you to your purpose that God has for your life. Amen. Somebody say with me, Lord, thank you for my purpose. Lord, thank you for my purpose. Amen. Every purpose God has given unto us is to bring glory to his name. Amen. Amen. You know, some people have discovered their purpose through their uniqueness and in between their circumstances in life. Yes. In other words, it seems like some people have just stumbled upon the purpose. Amen. That, that, that's the way they think. But all the time, God was pushing them that's to the good. edge. Yes. And when they finally caught the vision, God was at work the whole time. Right. Y'all know sometimes you move to a new place, yes. you move from your old familiar territory into a new place, uh -huh. and you begin to experience different things. God is setting you up. Yes. You're going to go do this, Jesus. you're going to meet this one. God is saying, yeah, I'm going to order your steps. <laughs> And then before you get a job, you'll get working, uh, you'll be in ministry doing something, and yes. God will say, yeah, I'm pushing you right towards yes. your purpose. Uh, right don't through. stop. Don't stop trusting God because he's pushing you to your purpose. Yes. And you keep trusting him. And before long, your eyes will be open. This is what I was created to do. Yes. Yes. When you know what you were created to do, there's no stress, no struggle, and no strain. Yes. Yes. Amen. You will find the fulfillment. I get so happy when it's time to clean the church. Yeah. I get joy when I think about what God is doing oh, and how he has yeah. orchestrated Ooh. my life because I didn't know why I had to come to South Carolina. Yeah. I didn't know why I had to move this place. Or do this thing. I didn't know why he put me in this position on the job. But now I know yes. because God was fulfilling his purpose in my life. Good. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. We spend too many years looking for purpose outwardly mm -hmm. when all the time our purpose was already oh, in. That's good. Our purpose is already in. All we got to do is make the right connection. Yes, sir. All we got to do is, uh, God, I see what people don't understand my uniqueness. Mm -hmm. I know I act like everybody else. Yes. I do things different than everybody else. And people are trying to figure you out and trying to put you in a box yes. that they think you should be in. But it's time to break out of that box. Amen. Mm -hmm. break out. And embrace your uniqueness. Amen. Can I tell you this? When God made you, he made, he broke the mold. Yes, he did. There's no clone of you nowhere. Amen. Out of the millions and billions of people that ever lived the earth, there will never be another you. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God, because that's uh, so unique in God's eye, you, you, your purpose, nobody else can fulfill your purpose. Amen. That's good. They may try to imitate you. They may try to uh, be uh, just like you. Mm -hmm. But it's only one of you. And God has that purpose and plan just for you. Yes. Only you can fulfill yes. that purpose. Amen. Why, why is that so important? Because when you read the Bible, Moses' purpose was to bring the children out of Egypt. Uh -huh. Nobody else was designed for that mission. Uh -huh. Noah's, Noah's job was to build the ark. Y'all get the picture? Mm -hmm. King David, let's work with King David. Mm -hmm. Because he had, he had many things going on in his life. But he started as a shepherd boy. Y'all remember Amen. that? Mm -hmm. And you, when you think about purpose, 
See, sometimes we put a time limit on God. Uh -huh. God, I'm 21, God. I need to know my purpose. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God will uh, reveal your purpose at a young age, and there are times when you're about 60 years old, and you're just oh, now yeah. coming into your call. Oh, yeah. How do I know that? Ask, ask, uh, ask David, and then ask Mary, the mother of Jesus. Oh. She was a teenager, a poor teenager, when the angel visited her. Yes. It says, your purpose is to bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. Yes. She's, she's a teenager. How can these things be? Mm -hmm. I don't know about I'm poor. I, I, I've never been with a man. Mm -hmm. But God had her, her purpose already yes. mapped yes. out for her. Amen. And the, the thing that blessed him, when you really read her, her, her response, it'll bless you. He, she says, let it be according to your word. Yes. Y'all uh, missed, missed that revelation. When God reveals your purpose, you need to testify just like Mother Mary. Yes. Let it be according to your word. Come on. Amen. She didn't say, let me go pray about it. Mm -hmm. Let me go on a three-day fast. Right. Let me ask a friend. <laughs> y'all know how y'all do I got the Lord. I almost thought the Lord was talking to me this morning. Talking about I got to go preach in Russia. Wow. The Lord know I ain't even ready. He just canceled you. Amen. You ain't ready. Okay. But when we look at it, <laughs> when we look at King David and how he him being a shepherd boy, amen, he began to learn how out in the field, he began to learn how to practice the presence of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Uh, through prayer and worship. When you read through the Psalms, it's David out in the field. It's in his, uh, doing his job. Uh -huh. Amen. And he's learning how to fellowship with God. Amen. He's making connection with his creator. He learned how to communicate with God. Amen. That's why sometimes when you want to you want to see the essence of prayer Amen. and how to make connection, open the book of Psalms. They pray. Yes. He prayed. He worshiped. He sang worship songs to God. Little did he know at the time of being a shepherd boy, God was pushing him to yes. be a king. Amen. Hallelujah. If you ever want to be a king, get in his, pre get in his presence. Amen. Get in his face. Begin to fellowship. Begin to worship with him. He began to depend on God in the midst of danger. He had to go up against bears, lions. Mm -hmm. Little did he know, leading God's people is like sometimes like going up against yeah. the devil. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Learning how to interact with people who are rebelling against it. Yeah. God was grooming him the whole time on how he was going one day be a leader of God's people. Yeah. Same thing here on earth. God has us in different places. God has given us, is grooming us and preparing us. See, God is grooming us, preparing us, and we must go through the process before yes. he promotes us. Yes. Amen. Say it again. He's grooming us and, and preparing us. Uh, we're going through some tough times. We cry. Uh -huh. We struggle. We fight. Uh, and God has said, this is the process. Amen. Because when I promote you, you don't know how to deal with situations and problems. Yeah. You're going to rise to the occasion, and your purpose is going to be fulfilled, and I'm going to get glorified. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Before he can promote you, he got to prepare you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And before he, while he's preparing you, you got to go through the process. Yes. And sometimes the process is painful. Yes. But don't quit on God because he'll never quit on you. Yes. Yes. I'm done. Amen. Amen. Whatever your purpose yes. is, God knows. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And when, when King David, when they went to anoint him, his family had even written him off. Don't you have another son somewhere? Oh, yeah. By the way. He out there in the shepherd field. Right. Tending sheep. Yeah. It wasn't his brothers who were older, probably stronger. Mm -hmm. It was that little shepherd boy. Right. While you're waiting on God to, pro to reveal your purpose, whatever your hands try to do, keep working. Yes, amen. Can I tell you this? And I, I promise I'm quitting. Uh -huh. God will not give his purpose to a lazy person. Right. Oh, oh, yes. oh. God will not give you purpose, and all you want to do is sit down and, and look cute. Mm. You're not ready. Mm. 
Wow. You ain't gone through the process yet, and he will not promote you. Amen. People come to church, and then they come to church last to come and, and first to go. Mm. <laughs> oh, church needs pain. Church needs floor sweat. They, that's somebody else's anointing. Mm. And they leave, and they wonder why they go through life not knowing the purpose, because they're not doing nothing for Jesus Help Christ. Us. Help us. Many times we get so selfish, we want God to keep giving me, giving me, giving uh -huh. me, giving me. I want, I want, I need. And God says, what are you going to do for me now? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And when you begin, to, as I said before, when your will begins to line up and you become broken with a contrite spirit and you humble yourself, God, uh -huh. whatever my hands is. Uh -huh. God, while I'm uh -huh. on the floor at the church, hallelujah, you yes. speak in tongues. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Whether it's paint the wall, God, I, I hear you. And God, speak to me as I paint the wall. Yes. Thank you, Lord. As I'm sweeping the parking lot, God, I hear your voice. Thank All you, I want to do is to please yes. you, God. Thank when you, you get to that level, then you, God said, all right, now you, you're going through the process all right. Mm -hmm. Now you're ready for promotion. Yes. And when he promotes you, your purpose is revealed. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just pray that there's somebody in here who is living on purpose. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Let us stand. Yes. Hallelujah. Got to stay close to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His bow, eyes closed. I don't know what you're going through today. Hallelujah. But I came to tell somebody. God wants to reveal your purpose in you. It's this time. You, 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 you're going through life and you're going through and you, you, you're just wobbling. You, you're unstable. God says, I want to plant your feet. Amen. I want to, I want to work in you and through you. Hallelujah. Yes. But you got to say, not my will, oh God, your will. Yes. I want you to work in me, oh God. God, I don't want to fight against you. My arms are too short to box with you, God. Yes. And God, when you're leading me on this side, God, I'm not going to go astray. I'm tired of fighting you. I'm tired of my spirit being vexed and, and unhappy and disappointed and disillusioned. And yes. nobody, it seems like my friends are leaving. I don't know. I don't have peace, oh God. The choice is yours. God is looking for a yes, Lord. God is saying, whatever you need, I've got it. But you got to come to me. You got to, you got to invite me in. You have to open your mouth and say something to your creator. Hallelujah. He's not here to condemn you. He nailed all of our problems, all of our issues on the cross. And all he wants is a yes, Lord. Father, I thank you today. For your word, oh God. Your word is true. Your word gives us strength. Your word gives us purpose, oh God. And we thank you today, God, that we can surrender our will and submit to your will today, oh God. Father, we won't murmur. We won't complain, oh God, as we go through the process, God. God, we understand this process can mean suffering. It can mean pain. It can mean defeat on certain areas, God. But God, as long as you're with us, oh God, as long as you're leading and guiding us, oh God. And we know you won't quit on us, oh God. God, we stand on your word today. We got more faith now than we had yesterday. We're more determined now than yesterday, God, that we're going forth in the strength of the Lord. Hallelujah. And God, we thank you for the victory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Living with purpose. Amen.